Claude White and in this screencast we're going to show you how to cut a face off one picture and lay it on top of another. This, for this purpose it's going to be quite quick so obviously you'll be able to get a better effect taking your time. Here we have two images on the timeline. Um, so just to start off with what we need to do is to match the images up. So if you look there we've got quite a, a larger picture there on there so what we need to do is use the event pan crop remember to have the move freely button switched on and then let's just move the let's get the selection into face be just a little bit bigger than that one. okay now what we need to use is the bezier tool so select mask and now Again, like I said to you before, you'd probably do this a lot quicker, a lot slower, a little bit more accurately in your own time, but for the purpose of this screencast, we'll quickly run around there. Just match these dots up. Now we have a face. Now you can actually manipulate these a bit better. But we're, we're quite happy with that at the minute. So there we go, it's, it's a little bit bigger. So what we need to do now is to go into the track motion tool. Just pull this across here, you'll be able to see the face. And just, if you just make that face a little bit smaller, just sit it in there. And there you go. And again, you can go back into the the Bezier tool and with a preview, preview window, you can actually shape it. And you can see the movement at the top of the head there. To just try and get better arches. Um, pull that a little, little bit down the line. There you, go. you get a rough idea of how we're trying to what we're trying to achieve, but that's how to use the Bezier tool within the, uh, the within Sony Vegas. Thank you very much. That's another screencast from LearningVegas.com.